you guys may, might have heard of Sadhguru talking about inner engineering and there is another big influencer of our generation Sri Sri Ravi Shankar who speaks about the art of living I'm not associated with either of these organizations so even if That's you don't like Modi or BJP still I think this is something that you should plug into it we are the wealthiest minority community in the United States we're highly respected and we're very successful. Was this video where Mona and I get into the idea on art of living and check if it is right for you and your family. And we have really strived to keep our culture going. Indian Americans constitute about 1% of the US population but pay about 6% of the taxes. A congressman told his congressional colleagues noting that this Indian American community does not cause problems and follows the laws. Because of the tireless work of few Indian Americans we get all this nice privilege and now some of the mainstream schools like Arizona State University have partnered with groups like Art of Living to bring spiritual leadership courses into their college curriculum too. Watch till the end to learn about how your kids can get credits while getting spiritual enlightenment at other major universities. For Eastern culture, generally the spiritual en enrichment has been a big part of growing up. Even for me, there was constant reinforcement from my grandmother and my dad who used to say that money is not everything and that's just part of our foundation. On the floor of the US House of Representatives, this Republican Rich McCormick, he's from Georgia, said, and he described the Indian Americans as great patriots, great friends. He said, this community doesn't have problems that we see other people have when they, when they talk about coming to emergency room for overdosing on drugs or depression or anxiety. This is probably because the Indian Americans are the most productive and have awesome family support and family oriented activities and that's what how he thought the Indian Americans are so the pressure is on the Indian Americans to live it up but stay with me I have some ideas that I will cover to consolidate our reputation in this video just Thanksgiving and Christmas time and that's it that's the time everything is festive but rest of the time it's all run and run while in India we have so many festivals maybe like two or even four in some months families get together but in this country there is more running around and always equating success of a person to material possessions like having a large home uh, having a big car or a plus job I feel I sound like a hypocrite because I help families with wealth management, mortgages and getting rich which is also is in contrast with, with what I am talking about because I have some beliefs and values or behaviors that support spiritual growth at the same time. Special guest today we have Mona Joshi and Atul Mahajan. When I am asked to amplify the message of art of living, I thought let me research into it before I speak about it. Let me check if it really benefits the society. That is what my channel is about. I named it Y Seekers where W stands for wealth, H stands for happiness and Y is you which is your improvement. Please do subscribe. It does not cost you to hit the subscribe button. I need subscribers to be able to spread the message and that in turn helps me bring greater content. We get a ton of views on our video but you guys not subscribing is hurting my ability to show our videos to others. So what is this art of living? The Art of Living Foundation was founded 42 years ago with the sole purpose of bringing back your smile and making it so strong that nothing can take it away. You know, did you know that babies smile about 400 times a day and teenagers about 17? And adults? What do you think, Kiran? It's probably even lower. That Absolutely. is scary. It's that scary. Is scary. <laughs> it's definitely scary because what happens is, you know, when a small child is not smiling, we say, what happened? Kya hua? And when a, an adult comes in and they have a big smile in the on their face in the office, we say, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Right? How did that become normal? It is actually our birthright to be happy. 
to be live a stress free happy life we are extremely focused on building wealth and we are extremely focused to enhance ourselves professionally yes and the definition of success has changed to being wealthy or having good net worth or having a mindset of you being able to afford the things mm. that you might or might not need i have decided to focus on happiness and i figured that happiness is one of the important facets of of how we'll be more content with our life Sri Sri Ravi Shankar he built a global organization that offers programs and teachings aimed at promoting personality development well-being and spiritual growth they talk about sudarshan kriya which is breathing techniques yoga and meditations ethics and values community connection social and community projects including education initiatives and sustainable development programs stress management celebration and joy programs mainly to promote values ethics and intercultural understanding there is lot of ambiguity i am not active in art of living even though i seem to align with the philosophy yes. based on what i heard why do you think people like me are not attracted to art of living or we have not heard of art of living or we are not being carried along like how you guys are going the path this foundation is spread to 188 countries just through word of mouth and if you haven't heard about it it's the word hasn't reached you properly <laughs> yes yes so this but is I, this is a great opportunity yeah, for me to hear exactly. so also my audience so so tell me how they can engage tell me the first three steps how we can engage and what are the short term benefits and yes. long term advantage in our culture we have the principle of vasudeva kutumbakam and we often think of it as oh this is a nice philosophy but then it when it comes to practical living sometimes we don't even know our own neighbors say we've learned so many things in our life right we're all very highly educated our community is very highly educated we ensure that our children are highly educated and have those values yet we haven't learned some of the most essential aspects of life such as how to manage our own mind you know none of us can say what thought we're going to have in the next couple of minutes we can't even predict it we haven't learned how to handle our own emotions you know negative emotions come over us like a storm and we just get swept in them and then we distract ourselves watch youtube videos or you know get involved in work or go shopping whatever it might be we distract ourselves but we don't know how to actually genuinely ma- handle our emotions we haven't learned how to maintain good relationships you see even in a small family each member of the family often feels like the others don't quite appreciate what they're going through and i would say we also haven't learned how to maintain good health we have spent our youth as you just described kiranji building our wealth and then later at some point middle age whatever there comes a time in many for many people that the medicine cabinet starts filling up yeah and we think okay this is normal so it's like we've spent half of our health earning our wealth but then later we must spend half of our wealth to regain our health does this seem like a smart economic plan to you these are all the problem statements and i'm 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 fully aware of the problem statements so can you focus on what yes. art of living can provide you are actually given tools to come back to your center so it's a 3 day workshop we teach them online we teach them in person in the valley and it just takes a few hours a day and in those 3 days you you learn a practice called sudarshan kriya now it's popularly known in research journals as a sky breath meditation mm. and sudarshan kriya is a rhythmic breathing practice now many of us have try to meditate right but what happens is our mind goes everywhere but through the vehicle of the breath the mind can reach st- such stillness so this allows us to go deeper into self reflection swadhyaya and understanding who we are but in such a light practical way so once you take the course for a few minutes every day you can just do the practice and my experience is that then i have clarity of mind peace of mind and i'm just able to throw off any stress that i've accumulated i've heard of uh, inner engineering that sadguru does so does art of living have any similarities to the inner engineering but i came into art of living when i was very young so i've been in part of the foundation for over 30 years from the beginning i knew that this was the right path for me and anything i've actually needed in terms of knowledge in terms of practices techniques 
uh, we have a living master in Gurudev. He would provide it even before I could think of wanting it. I'll be sitting there in satsang with him and he'll answer questions that somehow were in the back of my mind that were not even in the forefront and the answers will come to me. That's good. I mean, I've heard a lot of great things about art of living. I've heard about it and I know people practice it around the valley. If somebody is brand new, they've never meditated or they're never intentional about being happy, right? Yeah. They think they're happy or they're stressed and happiness is an afterthought that comes when they are watching a movie or something, but they are never mm. intentionally happy, right? These are novices. So there is a there is a big load of novices in the community right now. How would we bring them into the fold for them to at least try art of living and then have them try this three day course? Like, is it local and how intensive it is? Is it cult like? So I want to know the, that way people want to who are interested might get in touch with us. Yes. So they can reach out to us. They can go to our website, find a course that works for them for their schedule. It's local. It's local. Okay, it's face to face. Face to face, and also we have it online. Okay, we but face to face might be better. I genuinely love the face to face aspect. Yeah, I, I can imagine. And you know the musty that comes in face to face interaction. The whole group is there. People are cracking jokes, um, making everybody laugh. That family feeling comes, which is so beautiful. And I've seen over the years that people stay friends after that. So they, you know, it becomes such a way to bring communities together, people together. After a three-day course, it's a constant practice. Do the people who've gone through the three-day course, do they meet weekly? So here we actually have a weekly gathering where people can come together. And that practice that we did on the course, even though it's a daily practice, once a week, we come together and do it a little bit more deeper. In it. And so that encourages you to be able to keep up with the practice. Just, and it just recharges your system. I'm going to take a break. I want to talk about the big events, like mega events that Art of Living is practicing. And it's a tremendous opportunity, not only to gain exposure, but also provide the opportunity for people to learn about it. So we'll yes. talk about that. Thank you. The art of leadership through which students can receive credit for taking our programs and learning more about themselves and leadership principles and wealth management from the inside out. And uh, it's taught through the engineering uh, school, specifically the technological entrepreneurship and innovation department. Every crisis is an opportunity to send the message to the world. We can celebrate our differences, to live life to its fullest, to unite people of different cultures, races, nationalities, and religions. This World Cultural Festival has actually brought, it really has brought the world together in different ways. So in September 29, 2023, the World Culture Fest is premiering at the National Mall in Washington, DC. Because a lot of us were busy in building our professions. We don't know much about our heritage. So now we kind of outsource it to art of living people <laughs> who are going to help us. And then subscribe and especially share this video with the people who you think might benefit from the art of living.